Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about this beautiful wig that I got. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of the trimming of the bangs. I styled it a little bit and we uh, and I'm gonna talk about the construction, the cost, the name, all that, okay? So if that's what you want, stay tuned. All right, so let's get into the specs of this wig. So this wig is the Yaki wig from Bishi, and I did get it at my local beauty supply store. And the style is Y Mika, and the color is F4 slash 27 slash 30. I think for me, it's a really good natural color. And I absolutely love this, and it comes in all of these different shades here. But I love this yakky texture. I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't snag, it doesn't catch as much. Um, it definitely doesn't tangle as much. It's just a really, if you wanna do like an everyday type of situation, um, that style and texture of wig is really nice because it's not gonna be a lot of maintenance. So this one has the bangs, which I absolutely love. And the color in here that's shown is 1B. So it does come in these darker colors. It does say it's heat safe. Um, up to 400 degrees. Now the tag says $39.99, but I got it on sale at my local beauty supply store for either $19 or $15. So she comes in this. This is what she looks like. Now I wear her all the time. And just like, look, I can just run my fingers right through here. There's this dimension that I'm absolutely loving. I do love the bangs. I still need to work um, on the bangs with, with this one. Um, just because of where it lays on my head. There is some customizing I would like to do as well. I can get into that later, like a whole video on customizing. Um, but I wear her, I still wear her frequently. Got to get my hair back. So what I do usually is, um, my hair is wet and I put a lot of like deep con conditioning in it. Um, as you know, I have alopecia, so... I have some different places that I want to try to heal, which is another nice way um, to do with wigs. So I'm just going to comb this all back, put it in a ponytail. You can go in and, and braid your hair and everything. Um, I guess I'm just too lazy for that. So I put this in a low ponytail. And like I said, you can go ahead and braid your ponytail. I'm not going to do that. And what I do is I just see flatten my hair and then I'm going to use this wig cap. I put mine on back to front just so I can make sure that I lay down the hair that I tucked in. And then I just adjust the ponytail so that it's comfortable in the back, the knot. And then I'm going to tuck all these ones in. The nice thing about having a wig with bangs is you don't have to mess around with the hairline as much. So that's nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in and just make sure it's comfortable. I have found in general with the wigs, it's the wig cap that makes it feel too tight if tightness becomes an issue. So I've been more mindful about that. So this wig comes with, this was not a lace front obviously because it has the bangs, um, but this is the wig cap construction there. And then it has these two bands in the back that you can adjust to uh, fit the size of your head which is nice. So I'm actually gonna flip this wig and then I'm gonna loop it onto this little ponytail knot in the back and then bring it forward. Hola. I know it looks crazy, just, just relax. So I have trimmed the bangs a little bit but I'm also going to be putting this back and you can see, so you just have to make sure like what I'm going to do is run my fingers under here to make sure that the bangs don't get caught. And I just hook my thumb underneath in order to adjust. So then I'm not catching the wig cap. Um, and like, oh my gosh, look at this. Ah, I'm dying. So I'm going to brush her all up and then I'm going to adjust the bangs. And because I have natural curly hair, it's like I always want bangs. And if you watch my videos for any length of time, you know that I have tried to do bangs. And they're cute when they're straight, but then when they get curly, they're a hot mess. So I am also going to just try to thin her out a little bit here. 
which is a customization just so she's not as full but I want to wear her back sometimes so I don't know if I want to do that I think I do but I do want to work on the bangs a little bit because I would prefer to wear her right there and then the bangs are too long so I'm actually going to right now cut a little bit now, the nice thing is you can trim the trim wigs just be careful because once you cut it ain't going back so I usually just do a little bit of a section that's kind of long and so you can see my wig cap right there so it's sitting right along my wig cap so then it doesn't um then it doesn't get oh yeah so we just need to do that a little bit I don't really have time this morning to do that um, but I just need to go in and just trim some of these bangs and such even when you wear your own bangs it takes a little bit to find that the sweet spot the nice thing is is like when you have bangs and you cut them like my mom wears bangs so it's always funky the first like week or two that she cuts them and it takes a little bit to get you know back to where she needs to be but oh my gosh look at this be like hey 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 I just am obsessed with this color all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna style her for today and I am going to take two pieces here and pull them back and then I'm gonna pull down just a little bit right here okay and you can use hairspray on her and everything and I'm gonna pull just a little bit down There's this little clip here in the back oh my gosh how freaking adorable and then and then that's it that's what I'm doing for work so quick and easy if I were to straighten my hair without like really flat ironing it this is what the texture would look like so to me this is just a real natural type texture let's just straighten this out and then this is nice because it's sort of if you do get lazy and you don't really want to put a lot of effort into covering up your ponytail bump then this just covers that up for you there you go like that and just look at the length on her okay so let's just get it all taken care of in the front i'm going to do a last little brushing and you can see how easy it just brushes out okay now just because i want it you know the bangs to sit a certain way i am going to do a little bit of a spray i'm going to use this aussie hairspray i do have a hairspray that's better for wigs um but this is sort of like a I like the smell. <laughs> See how nice that is? OMG. And then I just like have a different look. I am going to add combs on the inside of this one. That's one of the customizations. So even though it has bangs, um, and it's like, you know, it's not really going anywhere. I just feel like I would... Um, I've worn this to work several times and one of the things is it will shift back a little bit like it doesn't come off or anything um and you know i i'm wearing it for like eight or nine hours so that's like a lot um but i just want to with the combs and it won't shift back as much um so i think that's good okay so that's it and i'm done and so what do you think i just love this this is so cute i feel great for work it does not take long at all. I mean, yeah, I was cutting with the bangs. Once they're cut, they're done. You don't have to keep messing with them. Clipped it back a little bit, and I really love it. So um, I'm going to be doing way more of these wig videos because I'm really getting into wigs. I'm loving them. Um, and, yes, I have alopecia, so this, for me, is twofold. It's, it's threefold. One, I like doing it because I just think it's so fun to just change something up and just look a little different. Um, I also feel like I don't have to mess with my hair as much and I can do a lot more deep conditioning because it's like, this is warm. So it's like heating my hair up and I'm hoping it'll heal it a little bit more. And three, if I have to be at a point where I need to wear wigs because my alopecia progresses, um, I'll already know what to do. I'll feel comfortable and confident. And so that's why I'm doing it.
anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you. I'll see you. Oh, I got a little bangs here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.